Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great day. I'm back here in great, great Grandpa Harry's rocking chair. And today I'm going to tell you a story about a little llama. Do you know what a llama is? A llama is a very woolly animal with a very long neck. They're cousins to camels, but they have wool on them like lambs. And they're all different colors. They can be white or gray or brown. So today I'm dressed in my llama jacket. It's woolly and it's fuzzy and very warm. The story is called, Is Your Mama a Llama? And it's written by a man named Stephen Kellogg. It's a great book. Hold on. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. Here's the picture. Here's the little llama that's asking the question of his friend. His friend answers him. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you're right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. Here's the llama. And here's his little friend, Fred. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a swan. You see the swan? The beautiful long neck? Yeah. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. See the mama cow and the baby cow? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. Let me show you a picture of Clyde. You see Clyde? She's got flippers and whiskers, and she eats fish all day. I do not think that llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. See the mama seal and the baby seal? And here's our llama friend asking the questions, right? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Can you see the kangaroo? with her baby in her pocket. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long eyelashes, and fur. And you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. You see, 
Mama Llama and our friend here. And this is the end. And can you see the Mama Llamas sleeping with their babies, right? So, is your Mama Llama? I don't think so. I think your mom is probably a girl. What do you think? Hope you've had a lovely day and enjoyed my book. See you soon. Bye-bye.